Hey everyone, I'm Crystal. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. It's for all signs, okay? We're just gonna find out what Spirit wants you to know. <laughs> I keep on trying not to do, like, um, love readings, but, well, okay, so it doesn't have to be a love reading, basically. You might be dealing with an air sign, but, um, or be an air sign, but you have nostalgia and live in space. Okay, so you guys might be, like, changing the people that you guys are living with. Um, maybe you guys are revisiting an old home or revisiting family that you haven't seen in a long time. This could be past friends, lovers, you know, um, even family members that are coming back into your life, okay? Um, with living space, this is, like, a major change to your living space. Maybe you guys are moving. Maybe there's people moving in. Maybe there's people moving out, right? Um, it says the time has come to make changes to your living space. Six of Wands. You guys are on a mission here, okay? You guys are very successful. Wow, Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Wands. You got a lot of good things coming in for you. Um, if you got, you guys might be saving up your money. Um, Six of Wands. It's like maybe you guys are in the public eye, or maybe you guys are just rising above, and it's like a brand new beginning for you guys. I feel like you guys, your energy. I'm hearing cleared out. So, it's like maybe you guys are clearing out a whole bunch of space, clearing out your mind, um, your stress, like whatever this is, it's being removed out of your life so that way you guys can have like more room to grow, more room to breathe is what I heard, okay? With the Ace of Wands, it with nostalgia, it could be a past person coming back in for you, a new love or an old love returning, right? doesn't have to be, but... I do feel like there's a new start for you that you guys are going to love, okay? If you're investing, like, more um, learning or studying something, you guys might be getting into, like, um, healing. High Priestess, when I said that. You guys might be getting into tarot, two of wands. You guys are, like, you guys have the, the world in your hands. There's a decision that you guys made intuitively. I feel like you already made this decision, right? Maybe you didn't, like, take the steps, but you already made the decision in your mind. This is going to lead to a lot of success. Um, maybe you don't, like, believe that it's coming. Maybe you don't see it coming yet. Look, the, I just looked down the chariot. Success. Success. Victory. You know, overcoming obstacles. Brand new beginning that you're going to love. Like, your cup is going to be pouring like overfilling, right? Basically, whatever you're doing, you're going to be getting, you know, your hard, <laughs> your hard work is going to be paying off, okay? Like, big time. I'm seeing horses. <laughs> A horse. Here you go, Six of Cups, Nostalgia. You got two cards talking about somebody coming back from the past with the world. This is something that's resurfacing in the Knight of Cups. One minute. Sorry about that. But I do feel like um, the universe is trying to lead you towards like a better future here, okay? If this is a new love coming in or whatever new opportunity that this is that's resurfacing, it's going to be something that makes you very happy, Okay. I feel like you guys got yourself out of a lot of stuckness. You've seen, you know, like, things from a bigger perspective here. You were able to see, like, um, a clear path for your future now. And because of that, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Because you're able to see a clearer path, you're able to keep on moving forward without having so many obstacles in front of you, right? And this is going to lead you towards your goals, towards more money, towards a stable um, beginning. I just heard in my head, spirit is removing all obstacles, right? And then you get the Ten of Wands. This is like putting the burdens down and like, you know, fighting for what it is that you are doing and like protecting yourself, keeping yourself in a bubble, not letting everybody inside, not letting everybody know what it is that you got going on either. Whatever it is that you guys are trying to create, you're being smart about it, okay? Not letting everybody know what it is. So what's this Two of Cups? The Wheel of Fortune. There is an offer coming in for you that's faded, okay? This is something coming back around. Um, Four of Wands. <laughs> 
Universe talking like I think twin twin flame season comes up in the next few months. That's probably why it keeps on always talking about this shit. Every time I try not to do a love reading, it just pops up. But there is like it doesn't have to be love, but to me this is a lot of love because I clarified the two of cups. You get the wheel of fortune and the four of wands. There's an offer coming in that's expected, that's um how you wanna call it? Meant to be destined for you. Okay, 1111 is a new door opening up for you. It could be a new home, it could be a new job, a new career, a new mindset, a new you. Um, maybe you guys are moving, right? Um, but it can also be a twin flame resurfacing. This is okay. You got the seven of swords, the hair fin, the ten of pentacles. All right. Somebody may have been running from this connection for a long time, right? Stuff of the sort it's not wanting to see it, running from the connection, running from love, um, running from commitment or even conversation, but they can't deny the fact that they feel this way. Like, it, and they know that this is something that could be long-term and stable. They know they can have a happily ever after with you. They see they can have like settle down with you, have a family with you, you know, long-term shit for the future. They can see that with you. Okay, so, you know, I'm going to pull some of these. Find out how your person's feeling since we're in the love situation. I'm not taking all that, but I'll take that one. Unfounded fear. They're afraid to trust and get hurt. So, the reason, Seven of Swords, unfounded fear... They are stuck running from situations that they know it would be good for them, but they're so afraid to love and they get hurt or to be loved and then be left that they rather run than try to get hurt, you know, and then they're still hurting themselves. They're still, you know, hurting themselves. There's a lot of gossip that surrounds this connection, okay? It might be affecting their judgment or their vision of you. There could be people talking shit on you, people that are talking secrets. Maybe you even know about this. There's a choice that they have to make, and they know time is not on their side. So basically, they know that they have to come in and come in pretty quickly. They might, like, see you moving on. You're getting a lot of attention, right? Feeling really good about yourself. I feel like you're more of, a, like, a higher energy here. I feel like I'm here and catching up to you. So I feel like your person's trying to catch up to you. Um, look, slipped away and coming apart. Like, meeting you, but their whole... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Meeting you changed your whole entire world, okay? And when they left you, it's like, they feel like you're always going to be the one that got away. Like, if they can't, like, I feel like they feel, let's see, family tree. There might be cultural differences. Why did they, why did they leave? The Fool and the King of Swords, they thought they could see clear, but they actually made, like, a foolish choice because now they're, like, falling off the cliff. Um, being too quick, okay? Jumping to assumptions. Um, thinking they know it all. Maybe they think they knew that the future with you was not going to be good. And then, you know, when they left you, it's like they can't get you out of their mind. Now they're like, oh, shit. They want to, like, come back around. <clears throat> Yeah, they're working up the courage at the moment. I feel like this person is very um, feeling called to come back, okay? They're making plans. Um, Page of Swords, they're watching you online they're, um, or watching your social media or driving past your home. They're asking more people about you. I feel like them asking people about you is actually like not good for them because they might be going to the wrong people and these people are affecting their judgment, okay? Ace of Cups and the Seven of Swords. This person, fly, annoying, um, keeps them running from love. They think love is a trap. They think love is going to keep them stuck forever. But this person, I don't know. I feel like this person is going to come back. Like, let's see the, the far outcome of this. Because this person loves to run from love. What's the far outcome? tower healing 
Okay, so there's going to be a sudden upheaval, breaking of a foundation that's going to cause healing, awareness. I feel like this person is trying to manifest you, but I don't know if they're doing the work by, like, opening up their heart. I feel like they're doing really, you know, some good things, but I don't feel like they're opening up their heart enough because I feel like they're going to run again. Spirit's calling for you to um, pay attention to signs, pay attention to warnings, be strong. Don't let this person crumble you. Don't let this person lie to you. All right. I do feel like there is some type of lesson to be learned out of this. Okay. You know, not all readings are going to be good. But, um, yeah, this person. Why are they running from love? Why? Drama, being held down, tied down, um, the death card, no, sorry, the four of pentacles, the knight of cups. This person might be used to be, used to being um, walked all over, treated like shit, um, you know, four of pentacles. They could have been in some shit, right, that wasn't so good for them. Uh, with the Queen of Wands, could have been a lot of drama, and I feel like this person, like, overcame that. This could be when they was younger, this could be whatever, in school, with friends, you know, being teased. Like, I feel like this person was used, manipulated, like, um, <clears throat> taken advantage of, and, like, this person, like, finally got over this. So, it's like, every time love comes close and they think they're gonna, you know, fall in love, they also realize that they can get hurt, too, at the same time. So, four swords, they pull back a lot of stuckness for your person. They're trying to leave that behind. They know it's not serving them. Six of Pentacles, they're trying to do better. They're trying to bring more balance into their life, into this situation. But, you know, um, it's a process. They're going back and forth with it. They have to realize that, you know, they have the power to change this and that they have to realize that, you know, <clears throat> they can't keep on blocking love because of what's happened to them in the past. That's what they're doing. You know, everybody's different. But anyway, if this resonates, please like and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good night. And remember, it doesn't mean the person can't change. It just means right now they're stuck. And some of them in the future might continue on being stuck and afraid to love. You guys might have a lot of, like, uh, I feel like you guys got to be really soft with this person. Or do you want to be? Anyway, have a good night. Toodles.